Hi, everybody. It's Marjorie Waldo at Arts Garage, and today I'm here with Dion C. Jefferson, who is one of three artists in our November Gratitude exhibit in the Grassroots Gallery. Dion, thanks for joining us. No problem. How are you? It's nice to meet you virtually. Yes, absolutely. Same here. I'm excited to share um, who you are with our audience so they're inspired by your work and get to know a little bit about how you think about your work. Um, so you have a very diverse background. You are a creative artist in many ways. Photographer, bridal designer, you collaborate with a lot of different art forms to create really cool projects. When did you start painting? Um, I started painting right after I graduated college. It was something that I loved watching people do in college. So right after I graduated, I took a couple classes at a community college that was local. Um, I'm from Ohio, so okay. I was taking some uh, art classes in a local community college just to kind of play around a little bit. And then I ended up loving it. Like I started giving my paintings to my grandma, my mom, you know, just, just for fun. But then after a while, I started liking it in the process. And just how therapeutic it was. So that's how I started. That's really cool. Um, you are what I think we would call an abstract expressionist. Yes. So why is that the vehicle for what you're trying to say through your art? What What is it that drew you to that form of art, that discipline? I think it's because, you know, with all the, a lot of the other forms, you have to have a lot of like technique and technique is important, but just being an abstract expressionist, I feel as though, you know, it's abstract. So it's your own interpretation. Um, technique is not really important. Um, it's, main, it's mainly what you see, um, how you come up with the end product. And since in all actuality, it's become therapeutic for me, I think it works best. So talk about your process. What in, if you're, when you sit down to create a new work of art, what is your process? How does it come to you? Perfect. Um, well, a lot of times I just, you know, start with the canvas or the medium, I guess you can say, and then I just grab it. Um, I start with the canvas and then I love working with acrylics. So um, that's always something that I definitely gravitate towards because sometimes I could do a painting uh, really quickly or slower but in order to keep it like moving pretty quickly and to let it dry i love using acrylics more recently i would say this year um since we were locked up in the pandemic and didn't really have much to do um i just started painting like crazy um, one of the artists that i started to study and um idolize so to speak is jackson pollock the fact that he started to use like interior house paint so of course, with the pandemic, um, you know, my process became a little different. I started going to Lowe's and Home Depot and getting acrylic paint, well, I'm sorry, interior paint, so that way I can start to use that. Once I started using that, like it just opened up a totally different ball game. So I guess the process is pretty much um, color. I'm drawn to color. So I don't really worry about the technique or anything. Um, I worry about what colors move me. Um, I love using the color red. It's one of my favorite colors. So a lot of my, a lot of my paintings, so to speak, will have red incorporated somewhere. Um, but I love to um, do a lot of color analysis to figure out like what am I, what am I going to do, and what mood I'm feeling. So I guess mm -hmm. my is about the mood. So, so your mood then is what decides what colors you're choosing for that piece and and how you go about it. Yes. Absolutely. And then I guess the, pro the, the middle process is pretty much if I'm, you know, drinking a glass of wine or if I'm listening to a jazz album or, you know, watching a movie as I paint or, you know, just whatever mood I'm in. So. Okay. Okay. One of the things in your um, bio that I really liked, you talked about <clears throat> that you liked uh, artists who push the envelope. And you actually quote Keith Haring, who said, and I'm going to read it so I don't mess it up, art should be something that liberates your soul, provokes the imagination, and, in, and encourages people to go further. So explain how those thoughts or the artists who do push the envelope in your definition 
how does that inform your work? How does that influence your work? Well, it does influence my work greatly because, you know, it's all about interpretation. Um, it's not a lot of pressure when it's you, um, when it's pretty much, you're not doing it for, it's, a lot of times I don't do it to sell the pieces. I don't do it to impress anyone. I don't, you know, I'm commissioned sometimes, you know, and I'm grateful for that, but I'm more happy when you like something that I've already created. Um, so if it's out of the box and you are inspired by just, you know, me doing something regular that I think is super cool, um, then I think that is what inspires me to be gravitated towards those, those artists, like the Keith Herrings, the Andy Warhols, the, again, the Jackson Pollocks, you know, those artists were very instrumental in just being wild and crazy and out of control. So I loved it. They were very, um, I guess you can say, um, no holds barred when it comes to painting. Um, and everybody had their own different process, which, which is what I like. Yeah, that's very cool. Your work is stunning. I've seen it. It's being hung today, actually. So it's going to be ready and beautiful for Friday for the opening. Tell me, so the exhibit is called Gratitude. What, how do you connect to that um, exhibit name, to that word? How do you connect your art to that for this exhibit? Okay. okay. Um, I guess you can say, like, um, just, again, just when someone's inspired by whatever I do, if gratitude, like painting, of course, you, like you stated, I'm, I'm a multi-dimensional artist. So I, I'm a designer, you know, I'm a singer, I dance, I'm a photographer, I'm a creative director. So when it comes to painting or any art that I do, if it moves you, then I am extremely grateful. Um, so I guess this year of uh, being locked up in the pandemic, I didn't have the ability to really move around and go to different places and, you know, collaborate, so to speak, with the different artists that I'm, you know, accustomed to collaborating with. So being locked up in the house, painting and just creating moods and vibes for myself, that's what I was most grateful for this year. So when I heard about the exhibit, I'm like, well, you know, although it's abstract, I am extremely grateful to be able to still express myself and not go crazy. You know, mental health is something that people deal with a lot. Um, to that, prior to the pandemic, I was going through a lot anyway. So just being able to be able to express myself via paint and to influence and inspire somebody else, that's, that was like the most, the most beautiful thing that I can ask for. I'd say it's pretty amazing. I, I think um, it's a beautiful thing that you're able to share what you're feeling and, and what you're thinking in some of the most, I would say some of the most extreme upheaval that our country's been through in a while, maybe our world. I think it's really beautiful that you were able to get that on the canvas and share it with us. So we're grateful too, to have you as part of the exhibit. Thank you. So our opening reception is November 6th. We always tie our opening reception to the first Friday art walk here in Delray. Um, mm -hmm. You can uh, come and check out Dion and the other two artists who will be on the walls. You can stop by other times too, but we encourage you to come on Friday night. And that is the best time you can talk to each of the artists about their process and ask them questions and get inside their head, which I was an old English teacher, right? So I would have loved to have been able to talk to the authors of those books I was teaching. And uh, I think it's a great opportunity for art lovers to see and get to access the artists. The Absolutely. event will be from 6 to 8 p.m. You can buy a drink and walk around. You must wear a mask. And uh, we'll cap the gallery um, exhibit at 50 people at a time and then as people move out we can let people in if we have an abundance of folks coming to see which is what I hope we have because I would really love to share your art with as much of the world as we can. Thank you. you should also know that your art is already on our website in our gallery store so if people are uncomfortable coming to the exhibit they can see it online and they can purchase online. We will we'll bring a piece out to the curb at once it's purchased and 70% um, of the sales go to the artist. So we're hoping that you attract some attention and make a little extra 
uh, money during this time from the people who love the arts here in Delray. It's a great location to showcase your work. Yay! So cool. thank you, Dion. Thanks for taking the time for the interview today. No problem. Thank you for having me and I appreciate everything you guys have allowed me to do. Right back at you, truly, right back at you. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. And we'll see you Friday night. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, take good care. You too, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.